Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to figure out if you should be using the Figma free version or the Figma pro version. Now, depending on exactly the type of design you do, the free version might actually be better for you. However, depending on the things that you need within a design element, the pro version might be a better option. Well, today we're going to go and explore each one of them and see which one you should be using for your specific needs. So without further ado, let's climb straight in. First up, let us have a look at what Figma's free package actually offers. So it does give you real time collaboration. It's one of the standout features and you can work easily with your team members. Uh, multiple simultaneously, which makes it easy for you to share ideas as well as feedback instantly. You also have unlimited files in drafts, so you can create as many as you need within your drafts, which is perfect for brainstorming and experimentation. You also have basic prototyping, which allows you to create interactive prototypes to showcase your designs. You get plugins and widgets. This allows you to have access to a variety of choice with many plugins as well as widgets that can enhance your design workflow. And you also get version history. This lets Figma keep track of your file history, allowing you to revert back to previous versions quickly and easily. Now, while the free version is pretty amazing, it does come with some limitations, and this is where the paid features come into, into play. So you get team libraries. Now, with the paid plan, you can create shared design libraries, which ensures consistency across your projects, and it also makes it a lot easier to manage your design assets. You also get advanced prototyping. So yes, the paid version does allow for more complex interactions and transitions in your prototypes. This gives you a lot more control over what you're doing and it also gives you a much greater user experience. You also get crazy design systems. You can create and manage design systems that help maintain a cohesive look and feel across all of your projects. This is going to speed up the workflow. You also get the increased version history. So the paid plan does offer an extended version history, which allows you to go back further in time to retrieve older versions of your designs. Now, this is coming from a personal place. If you've worked hard on a project and you look back and you need to restore an older version and it's not there, and you have to do all that work again, it's very heartbreaking. You also get admin controls and um, more permissions for teams. The paid version provides better admin controls. Um, it also allows you to manage uh, user permissions a lot better. And it also allows you to access um, different levels of permissions more effectively. You also get priority support. If you are subscribed to the paid plan, uh, your you'll receive a priority customer support, which obviously ensures that any issues are resolved quickly. You don't have to waste any time. And of course, it'll increase your workflow. So you might be wondering who the Figma free plan and the paid plan is actually targeted at. Well, um, if you are a student or an educator, a freelancer, if you run a small team or even part of a small team, or if you're just using it for fun as a hobbyist, the free plan probably will do just fine for you. You're not going to need any more features. If you are a professional designer, you work in a large team, possibly even an agency, or you have very strict security needs within your company, the Figma paid plan is most definitely a better option for you. These are some of the extra benefits that you will be getting with the paid plan. And so in conclusion, both the free version and the paid version is built for specific use cases. The thing is that you just need to figure out what your needs are and balance them with what those versions offer. And of course, take into consideration the price. If this was an enjoyable video, please don't forget to drop us a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. I guess we'll see you next time, people. Peace.